to the angel of the church in Sardis write, The words of him who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works. You have the reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up and strengthen what remains and is about to die, for I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. Remember then what you received and heard. Keep it and repent. If you will not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what hour I will come against you. Yet you have still a few names in Sardis, people who have not soiled their garments, and they will walk with me in white, for they are worthy. The one who conquers will be clothed thus in white garments, and I will never blot his name out of the book of life. I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. The city itself was set up in elevation on the top of this really high plateau. That's where the Acropolis was. I've been to Sardis many times with groups, but only have been to the Acropolis two times. We're here at the Temple of Artemis. Correct. What's the route that we're going to take to get up to the Acropolis? Well, there's a path coming in a ravine right behind the temple. We're going to follow that up through the open clearing and make our way up on this ridge. And then we get to a final ascent, which is quite steep. OK. Let's do it. Looking at the terrain, wondering if we could just go straight up there and then around to the right. Yeah, so we'll end up just going straight up through the vineyard. There's a fence line there. Don't tell me we have to go all the way around it. Oh boy. He's close. Well, where's the dog at? Yeah, let's see. So we've been planning this trip, and then all of a sudden, there's this fence. There's a dog barking on the other side. We're burning daylight. Like, this is not what we had planned for. Just be paying attention, guys, because there's that dog. There we go. I think this is where the other trail comes up from the ravine. See, we got a clear trail going up now. Within view. We are within view. It's exciting. Here's the trail switching back. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah. You got it? Oh, 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 oh. That was not good. Can you get it? So imagine invading armies trying to get up this thing and why they felt so secure up there. Views outstanding. You see the Temple of Artemis where we were? Yeah, so down below. 
seeing the surrounding mountains, seeing the valleys down below, looking down on the temple on one side of the Acropolis, and you could go to the other side of the Acropolis, and you could see the synagogue and the bath. I mean, it was breathtaking. One of the images there talks about Jesus coming as a thief in the night and it seems to be recalling a very famous story that, about this place because when the Persians besieged uh, the Lydian kingdom, of course, the King Croesus and his Lydians came up here on top and, and settled up here. They had water, food, and they could last for months up here with the Persians camped around below. Well, the Persians almost gave up. But one day, one of the sentries who were uh, watching on the east face of the Acropolis saw a Lydian soldier drop his helmet down. <laughs> and so he saw the Lydian soldier climb down on a secret path and go back up to the top. So he reported to Cyrus. And so they formulated a plan on how to uh, attack the citadel here. So they, they did it uh, on one side, painted a, an attack there, and then they sent a commando unit <laughs> up the back came through the wall, able to open the gates, and this citadel was captured. So it seems like in the letter to Sardis, he's, he's playing off of that, mm -hmm. but he's warning against prideful self-deception, where you think you're one thing, you think exactly. you're strong, you think you're defensible, but really you're not. And that seemed to be going on with the Christians at Sardis. Yeah, the same false sense of security <laughs> that the Lydians had up here. Yeah. The Christians now seem to have too, you know, in their walk with Jesus. So you need to be able to see yourself the way the Lord sees you. And it also seems to mention there's a group of the saints there at Sardis that have not given into that self-deception. They really do see mm -hmm. themselves the way yeah. that they should, humbly. And the admonition to them is to hold fast yeah. and to hang on. Yeah, they seem to be kind of a mediocre church, you know, yeah. not doing anything really wrong, but they're really not excelling either. Right. So there's some encouragement there. You know, it, you can be a part of a group that maybe isn't everything that the Lord wants it to be, but he still sees you as faithful. Absolutely. And he hasn't removed you from among his churches yet. Yeah. But there's a warning to repent and make the changes you need to make. Yeah. Fire up and <laughs> get some more passion for following Jesus. Yeah. I think that's one of the lessons here. After making that strenuous hike and realizing the effort that it took just for our team to try to get up there, I can imagine how the citizens of Sardis would have felt about their location. Like who on earth would be able to get up there and take them down? They were literally the kings of the hill, but they weren't. Jesus is trying to humble them. He's trying to help them understand we need to take that lesson to heart as well. It, it is so easy for us to be prideful, to be more confident in where we are, and we need to be careful of that. We need to take heed lest we fall. And we need to be humble and honest about our strengths and especially our weaknesses. I'm Craig. And I'm Stu, and we're the founders of Appian Media. We really hope that you've enjoyed the content that you've just seen. This was only made available through the generous donations of so many of you. We believe that the world should have biblically accurate, visually engaging content about the Bible, and it should be free for everyone. We would encourage you to visit the membership page of appianmedia.org and consider becoming a reoccurring member. Everything that you donate to Appian Media is tax deductible. However you decide to donate, we really appreciate your support.